What a great year we had this year and today we're going to have a look back at what we did. We started the year off with checking out the street food in Asenovgrad with the help of Norman. Uh, you have sandwiches here, you have kind of pizzas, um, there, you see there is with this uh, sirene inside, you have also some with uh, this is uh, Petty as well. Botevgradska, uh, Baninska, you have this... Uh, they put nachos and everything. And it's, it's fresh tacos. So very nice. Ah, so, here we go then. Here Let's we go, go then. Five euro fifty for everything. And look, Western is coming on holiday. Yeah. It's very cheap. Yeah. Super cheap. Yeah. Next up, my mum wanted me to find a hotel for one of her friends. So we searched for luxury. Hi mum, how are you doing? What's hey, up? Hiya, uh, hiya. Uh, I'm doing all right, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Just a quick one, why, why I'm phoning you. Yeah. I've got some friends who... It's the 20-year anniversary coming up. Been showing them some of your videos, you know. Um, and all about the Bulgaria and everything. And they've asked if uh, you can find them, you know, like a five-star hotel. Uh, it's not that far from the airport and not, not that expensive. Oh, I think I might try one of them later, Eclair. We've got here some cheese balls by the Rook. Palachinki, some kind of appetizers, meat. Go, Emma, Telly, Neska, Zenas, Svinsko, Juan. Svinsko, Juan. Uh, Pork, knuckles. Puika, turkey. Puika, turkey. Uh, Ruladini po grecki. Dobre. Pilička je rule. Dobre. Topule? After, Norman took us to one of his friends, the best place you can learn Bulgarian in Plovdiv. Pleasure to meet you. Juliana, nice to meet you. Yeah, so <laughs> teaching foreign people or Bulgarians different languages? Or? Yeah, we're teaching both. We're teaching mostly Bulgarian. Uh, we're teaching Spanish, Italian, Russian, German, English, of course. Also, like Greek, Turkish, but also we are teaching foreigners Bulgarian. In this episode, I showed you where the best burger in Varna was, and I also showed my new YouTuber friend.
Stop. What are you doing? Let's rewind that. Don't make that same mistake. That stuff can't even be considered meat anymore after all the additives and preservatives they put inside. Well, guess what? If you're here in Varna, I've got your back. I'm going to show you where the best burger place is in the whole of Varna. And I'm guaranteed you're not going to regret it. Nice to finally meet you yeah, in person, good to Justin. Meet you, Gareth. Yeah. Wow, look at that. You even have a stamp of exactly. your. Of your... Exactly. But what's with this syringe? Is that the spicy stuff? Yeah, this is spicy. Yeah. Oh, See, look this at is this. the gimmick that I was telling you about. Old buddies. Guys, look at this. This looks absolutely fascinating. They even put the spiciness in a syringe, I guess, so as you can control what it is you want to do. But this is really cool. Then I showed you how you can get the real taste of Bulgaria by going on one of these amazing tours. Are you tired with those overcrowded, busy tourist places? Do you want to taste the real Bulgaria? Well, today I've got a very unique tour and tour operator to show you exactly how you can do that. So exactly the tours that she is doing is giving you the real taste of Bulgaria, taking you to them places where uh, everybody's going to. You're going really deep in the places with the locals and you're getting to learn new things. This is a festival just before Easter. Give up all meat and animal products to become vegan for Lent. Today, the people of Dobridge will show us all the rituals of this festival, together with a cookery procession. This was a sad episode as I shared one of Bulgaria's biggest problems. Rubbish, garbage, plastic has come a major commodity. I take my shopping in a plastic bag. I don't have to return anything. And it can take up to 450 years to decompose in the nature. And it also doesn't help when you recycle nowadays. If you look into it, it doesn't get recycled. It just gets burnt most of the time. And it saddens me to see litter everywhere all over this country. You see that bottle up there? Maybe you can't see it. Things like that really do my head in. I mean, how can a bottle get up there? Some people are just totally mental. It's all everywhere. Good job! Norman had introduced me to one of his friends who could make amazing things with his hands. It's now Norman. I brought him now here to Ogi. He is uh, making all these nice things out of stone, marble and Sravete, Ogi. This would be perfect to fit in my garden. <laughs> this is all the sink for the kitchen. Yeah. Stone, it will never break. I mean, if it doesn't fall down. <laughs> you can break it in, I don't know. This, is, this looks like a little bit like from the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and you can put together, you can stay like this. Very nice. You can make different composition. Yeah. Yes. Every time is different. It's been a difficult year for the whole world this year, and I showed that through the hyperinflation that could come to Bulgaria. We're going to check the most important products that everybody did every day use. Apples were one ninety nine a kilo last year. This year, three forty nine. That's a seventy five percent increase. Carrots were 89 stutinki a kilo, this year 149, that's a 67% increase. Potatoes were 99 stutinki, now 149 a kilo, that's a 50% increase. Onions were 240 for 3 kilo, which is 60 stutinki a kilo, now 99 stutinki.
Then I followed that up with some amazing money saving tips. I guess you're here because you're interested in finding out some money saving tips here in Bulgaria. Well, you've come to the right place. I asked many foreigners living here why they came to Bulgaria. Interested to know why these people have come to live in Bulgaria? Well, I asked them these four questions. Why did they choose Bulgaria? What do you like the most about Bulgaria? Have you ever had any culture shocks? Do you have any advice for anyone wanting to move to Bulgaria? Hello everyone, my name is Joanna Alcantara and I am from the Dominican Republic. Bulgarians are very friendly and very welcoming, but be patient with the process. Um, why Bulgaria? Well, to be honest with you, uh, I didn't even know there was a country called Bulgaria. I chose Bulgaria because of love. Uh, or maybe Bulgaria chose me. I don't know. And I really uh, loved the city and I enjoyed myself here. And uh, so I, I talked my wife into coming to Varna. The thing that I have found about life here in Bulgaria is probably that the people here are very, very um, loving and super, they're very reserved, but they just will be so happy when they recognize any of your efforts. This short five minute video, small beautiful tour of the Demacena. Next, I showed you all the things that you can do, that you must do, when you come to Kazan Luke. This video was me sharing something amazing I found in the region of Varna. If I'm the bad one, take a look at yourself. If it comes down to me and you, I think that you are the one with a bad attitude. spent three days at the cherry festival and this is what this video was going to show you the fruitiest event on the bulgarian festival calendar it happens once a year in the town of kustendil which is situated southwest of the capital of sofia just next to the borders of serbia and north Macedonia. set up their stalls with different and unique presentations of this wonderful sweet cherry the theme of this year's event was the wheel, as you can probably see why. Yes. How can I say, Institute of Agriculture uh -huh. made those kinds just to produce uh, something different yes. to show on the market. Uh -huh. 
they are rare leaf trees. Even yogurt from the leaves of the cherry tree, pies, all sorts of sweet and savory items were available to see, inspiring all who was there to use cherries in different ways. Well, I hope my video inspired you to visit this wonderful festival next year, or have you already been to it? Please let me know in the comments below. During the fest, we stayed in an amazing guest house, and I just had to show you this. Nice stay double rooms in one small apartment. This is the blue room. We call the blue room. Oh. And also the, With the eye of the Fatima. Fatima. Typical Bulgarian. <laughs> House Balkan, can I say Balkan? Balkan style. Even Balkan style, yeah. Nice. Like a, I thought to say it's a meeting room. Uh, meeting room. Yes. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Pleasure room. Pleasure room. Yeah. Chill out room. Yeah, chill out. It's beauty. Yes. Let's go up. Yes. Also, typical stairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this balcony we call Chardak here. Yeah. Here with the coffee in the morning. Oh, breathtaking. Let's start with uh, this is the let's go. Uh, really, to really. Have this uh, to be a little bit smelling nice with expensive aroma, with uh, nice cleaning, with yeah. everything. This is what people want. Yeah, exactly. This is what the people, the people this will pay our, for this our, motto. Uh, yeah, your motto. motto, exactly. Andre and Sylvia were absolutely amazing hosts. I cannot recommend them enough. They were so amazing, they made us feel like part of the family. And this is exactly the kind of thing that you want to have when you're in a guest house. And if you go to stay with them, I can guarantee you're not going to regret it. This video, we stopped people in Golden Sands and asked them where, why they chose Golden Sands for their vacation. The girls in the beach. <laughs> <laughs> nice. People and not like small children. Yeah. It's different to, uh, to the normal spots like Mallorca or something yeah, like this. Yeah, it's yeah. different. I think uh, parties. Here, is, here are so nice. So. The services that I... The sea, the atmosphere and... During the trip to the Cherry Festival, we found an abandoned monastery. Finally, after two years, I've made it here. I learned about a new Bulgarian tradition and during that trip, we stumbled upon an abandoned Bulgarian monastery. 1881. Yeah, if you fall down, it'll be funny for the video. But you usually don't like me putting you on the video, so it's very dangerous. The chapel part, 1881. So it'd be really interesting when we find out the name of this place to see when actually this place got abandoned. Yeah, they are tombs. It's going to be written in Old Bulgarian, so you're going to have to read this. Look up in the bell tower. This video, I shared you Petia's mum's recipe for Bulgarian gherkins. So we're back with another cooking episode. I've got a recipe for you again, Bulgarian style. This recipe is from Petia's mum and it's Kisili Krastovici. This recipe, you need your gherkins. You're gonna need some garlic, some dill, some vinegar. You're gonna need some salt and sugar. You're gonna need some jars. My mum had come in summer and I showed you her reaction to the first time in Bulgaria. Uh, that was horrible. I don't think I'd ever go there again. Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't imagine all this here from coming there. How <laughs> <laughs> very good they are. Now, this is how it should taste the tomato. Comparison. No comparison. In this one, we showed you the beautiful northwestern part of Bulgaria, the city of Vidin. At the most northern western part of Bulgaria, within the province of Vidin, is where we'll find this lost gem. After a lot of research, this video shows the results of all the Bulgarian food and drink 
people decided you must taste. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not so different from ours actually. Yeah, you have very similar yeah it's dishes. very similar. Quite this similar. is so yeah, good food, really good. So we have moussaka. It's uh, uh, very nice. Also, so you can try the goat soup, uh, goat uh, tarator. Alenski book. The Bulgarian pink tomato, moussaka, barnitsa, and many more. I found a website for people who need a doctor in Bulgaria and I just had to share it on this episode. Are you worried about the next time you're in Bulgaria and you fall sick? You then have to phone a doctor, but you haven't got a clue where to find one. Well, this is kind of the same issue that I'm finding all over social media and in forums. I've just recently come across a website that's going to solve them problems for you. So stick around and I'm going to show you this website and how to use it. In this episode, people share with us their problems that they had coming to Bulgaria and also their solutions. The thing I found quite difficult, although it's got easier for me as time gone on, is uh, trying to buy building materials or convey exactly what it is I'm looking for. Thankfully. I was in Sofia eight years ago because my ex-husband is Bulgarian. I have two kids with him and I must say that Bulgaria conquered my heart. I met here when I just arrived. First of all, it was Bulgarian bureaucracy. Mwah! My loving... <laughs> oh, bureaucracy is incredible everywhere all over the world. But so here's one advice I would like to share with you. Don't push. For sure, don't push. Uh, people do their stuff here the way how they do their stuff here. People are more than willing to help you, but if you force them to help you, if you push them to help you, they were just gonna have you longer on hold. I stumbled upon some old footage of Vana and decided to compare it with the same footage of today. That's what this video was about. In today's video, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane. As we compare some rare old footage of Varna with the same footage from today. And we're gonna take a look how much of the city has actually changed over the last hundred years or so. And also along the way, we're gonna uncover a couple of mysteries. And even after a deep dive on the internet, I was still unable to find the answers to these questions. Maybe somebody watching at home knows the answers. So sit back and relax and enjoy this journey through time. 1976. Lava, 1989. Boulevard Canyas Boris, the first, 1982. Varna's train station. 1935 So looking forward to 2023 I've got some amazing ideas for videos so if you haven't subscribed don't forget to do that now Plus if there was any of those videos that you've not watched yet you can always go to my channel and check them videos out. I'll hopefully see you on one of them.